Las Vegas, hundreds of students at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, came together for a candlelight vigil last night to honor the victims of the shooting massacre. And we're still hearing more from the brother of the Vegas shooter who killed himself as police were closing in on him. Eric Paddock lives in the Orlando area. Local tents Ian Margle is live with what he had to say to reporters today. Ian. And the Paddock family is really still trying to make sense of all of this. Eric Paddock telling us this was totally out of character for his brother, and he says he considered him a father figure. This is a horror, just a, a horror story in every possible way. Eric Paddock cannot fathom how his brother, 64-year-old Stephen Paddock, could shoot and kill dozens of people at a Las Vegas country music festival. He says the last time they spoke was just a few weeks ago when his brother texted asking if they had gotten power back after Hurricane Irma. Had I called him back instead of texting, would I have heard something in his voice? Would I have, would I, would he have given up something? Would he have, I don't know, I can't say. That's what I'm going to carry for the rest of my life that maybe I could have intervened. Eric describes Stephen as a multi-millionaire former accountant who gambled regularly and successfully for more than two decades. And although he was a private person, he says his brother never resorted to violence. Steve is a, was, was a highly intelligent, highly successful person. He could have done anything he wanted to do. And he did. He made himself wealthy. He made us wealthy. Authorities say Stephen sent thousands of dollars to the Philippines before the attack, and they hope his girlfriend, Mary Lou Danley, can shed some light on why. And Eric hopes an explanation for all of this will come sooner rather than later. My heart is torn, is destroyed for all these people. I, but I can't tell you why Steve did what he did. So after he got the news, Eric was describing this, saying it was as if an asteroid had fallen out of the sky. That's how shocking all of this was. And the family now just hoping police can find a motive, find a reason to help them make sense of all of this. We're live in Orlando, Ian Margle, Local 10 News.